Okay, so a um, couple of little changes around. Um, so this is the area here, right back here, um, where actually right on that side, right over there, um, where I was doing most of my uh, YouTube work. And you can see it's it's a complete disaster area over there. Sorry, it's very, very, very messy. Um, so what's happened is I, the shelf I was using, this one right there, um, to mount all of my stuff has started pulling out of the wall. So I can't exactly use it anymore. I had uh, this light here. This light here um, mounted on it and uh, it started pulling out of the wall. So that was a no-go. I didn't even get a chance to try the softbox with it yet. Um, so I've rearranged, or I'm going to rearrange, how I'm going to set up my studio. Studio. Uh, instead of watching me from this direction, like you're used to, um, I am going to flip things around and put you all over here. Now, <laughs> uh, my desk is a mess, and that means I'm going to need to clean it, which will be super fun. Uh, however, my plan is, this is this is the fun part, so my plan is this area here, where I've just redone my shelf. Let's take a look. Yeah, so this area here where I've just redone my shelf, um, I'm going to put right there, I'm going to put an auto pole. So I've been watching, I've been watching um, Potato Jet's little series on like redoing his whole like office studio area. And he's putting in a bunch of, of Veripoles from, um, from Impact, which are really neat. They're really cool. I, I saw those and I'm like, oh, that's really, really fantastic. It's a really great way to make a, a really versatile setup for your, for your space. Um, however, I uh, also went to look at the price for those, and they're like $120 to $180 a pole. <sighs> well, it turns out, like I said just a second ago, these are also known as auto poles. They're not just very poles, that's just Impact's name for them. They're also known as auto poles. You can get them from Manfrotto as auto poles, you can get them from a couple of other manufacturers as auto poles. So, I started looking into those, right? Which, eh, I'm like, alright, then maybe that'll be a good idea. Hang on, it gets better. It gets, it gets better. These things have existed for forever as just poles for holding up crown molding if you're doing uh, construction or home improvement. Yeah, crown molding, like that, the stuff that's not in this room, but like that would be up there at the top of the ceiling between the, the wall and the, and the ceiling. Turns out these things exist. So um, what I'm going to do, because I'm cheap, uh, I am going to pick some of those up. I'm going to pick one of those up. Um, the, the advantage to them is that they're like a, literally a quarter of the price of the, of the Veripole stuff. So I'll grab one of those and I'll try that and see how that works. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry you're all wobbly here. <laughs> I'm going to try one of those and see how that works because hopefully that'll end up... What I want to do is, uh, let's see, if I turn it all around, um, what I want to do is right down there, sorry the floor is disgusting, um, right where I've got that cleaning supply stuff, I'm going to pull straight up to the ceiling. And off of that pole, I'm going to have my 
my camera on one side and my light on the other. That'll be my key, and then I can set whatever I need up over there for my hair light, room light, whatever. That should work. Uh, and so, I've picked one up that's like $33, I think. I'll try it and see how it goes. Um, I don't imagine that anything I put there is going to work really well, because I'm, you know, I'm stuffing it into carpet on the floor, and then 40-year-old drywall, 50-year-old drywall in the in the ceiling. So I'm not anticipating this going swimmingly well <laughs> by any means. But my hope is sorry, sorry to move you around like that. But my hope is once I get this up, I'll have another, once again, nice permanent place to mount things. And the way I'm gonna mount these, I want to show you real quick is using super clamps, real super clamps. Like I've got the little super clamps from from small rig and they're great. But these are like these are the, these are the big ones. Check these out. Look at the size of these things. If I can get this off here. Here we go. These These are the real deal. Uh, this one, I think, is from Impact. Let me screw this from this hole here. This is, this is good content. Doing this one-handed is a great idea. There we go. So yeah, this is... This is from, I believe, from Impact. Uh, Manfrotto also makes them. So I'm, I'm gonna pick up one from Manfrotto to see how it is. And you can see these just... They just screw into the pole. They just screw into the pole like that. And then you can put a spigot on the end and mount whatever you want. So Manfrotto makes a... Manfrotto does make um, an adapter, like a... It's not really a magic arm. Um, they just call it a camera adapter where you can uh, plug into that spigot and then... Um, you have a little, you get a little tiny arm and then a plate um, where you can put your camera. So that's what I'm going to do for the camera, and I've already got that one over there from Impact for the light. So it'll be camera on one side, light on the other. We'll see how that works. Sorry, uh, hopefully this wasn't too shaky. I'm going to stabilize it in post. Also, sorry, people are messaging me. I'm busy, so I'll let you go. Stay awesome!